got it. We're recording right now, and I am going to um, click on start in Facebook, post to go live on Facebook, and then I'm going to cut and paste, and then we're going to be live. Actually, we're going to be okay. live in one second. Okay. So, okay. No Hold on. Mm, next, share my timeline. Post? So it's getting ready. He's preparing the live stream. Do, 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 do. Yes. We need music, don't we? <laughs> oh, I, can, I can put on some jazz now. I got some miles here always. Yeah, I hear you. Live video. Oh, hey. Say something about this video. I want to post this. Um. Okay. All right. Now we're going live. Oh, sorry we're having trouble playing this video. What's up? Hold on. I didn't like that. Let me try it over again. Oh, it you is. You hear that jazz? I think it. No, I don't hear the jazz. Oh, well. Is it on? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Because I think we might. We're not live. All right, I'm gonna try it again, live on Facebook. Okay. Next, share my timeline. And it should be, it yep, it struggled. It said we having trouble posting this video. Okay, I think it's ready now. Hold on. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Technology, you just gotta love it, no? Gotta love Man, technology. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Now we're live. Add a title. Just go live. Hey, what the heck? Just go. It says setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. And I think we are live. Come on. Don. We're live. How are you doing? Facebook. Okay. Hello, everyone. We're live. Hello, hello. All Being right now. Streaming live on Facebook. Hey. <laughs> now Hello, streaming live. It's Tuesday. I'm excited. Oh welcome, God. welcome to Passion Speak. My name is Sandra Jennings. You are now watching Passion Speak, where we give those with a passion a platform to speak. And it gives me great pleasure and an honor to present to all of you uh, Terrence Reese. We call him Tar. He is a photog, and I should have posted all the information about him. I won't go into a lot of detail. Terrence is well qualified. He has, um, we are presenting his book today. Ta da! Reflections. Reflections. Intimate Reflections. Portraits of Iconic Americans. He's a celebrity photographer, and he is gracing us with his presence. And I'm so excited. Mm. Um, this book, let me tell you, Terrence, before we go any further, this book is a unique, unique compilation of photographs of notable and iconic African in the United States, probably in abroad as well. Um, and why it's unique is because it's not a direct photo. For example, it gives a photo of a reflection. The icon is reflected in the image. And we're going to show you guys some of, some of the images. This is probably not good at all, but anyway. Yeah, that's Esther James Jackson. Yeah, I can see it. Looks Where do nice. you see them at? Yep, that's right Esther. Here? And there's, yep, there's Esther. Yep. Yeah, okay. And James. So they are yes. reflected in the image. That's what makes this, and this book is full of about 70 icons. We're going to take a good look at some, but before we do, Terrence, you're going to tell us what inspired you. How did this, this book all start? Wait, first tell us, when did you take your first image? And then how did it start? Uh, I took my first image in 1994 of uh, one of my mentors, Azure Cowens. I had come from an event the night before, and I needed to ask him a question. And his answer to the question uh, threw me into an even deeper fury. In his 900 square foot studio, he was cooking gin stink on the stove and the studio was feeling full of smoke. And I tried to walk towards the windows to get some air, but there was no path to the windows. But between the windows was a mirror. And I'm talking to him, just looking at him in the mirror. And I turn around and I turn back and I say, if I can get you in focus, 
and all of this art in front of you, that would tell a hell of a story. The next day I came back with 10,000 watts of power and created my first reflecting room. Right. I hand him, you know, we took the Polaroid and we both were looking at the Polaroid and I asked him, I said, are you in focus? And he's like, you 20 years younger than me. If you can't tell if it's in focus, I surely can. So I had an eight by 10 print made at Dugal. When I pulled the eight by 10 print out of the envelope, I knew I had created something that had never been done before. And Reflections was born. Yes, ma'am. It is amazing. Is major. You have been featured in DuSalt. Let me see. Um, major museums all across the country. DuSalvo um, Museum of Art in Chicago. Um, yeah, thirty museums around Charles the country. H. Wright Museum uh, Paris. in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Paris, North Carolina State, um, Rutgers University. I mean, it's everywhere, including the Grand Rapids Art Museum. You had just um, a display there as well, but yes. um, so and they had and um, they own three images at the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Really, which one you recall? Which ones they took? Uh, they have Gordon Parks, Lois Maylou Jones, and Richie Haven. Now, Gordon Parks is one of my favorites. He's one of my yes, favorites. Man. He's mm -hmm. an artist. He's a uh, photographer. Mm -hmm. He's a filmmaker. We knew we him the, movie the yeah. last few decades of his life um, as a major, major filmmaker. But um, let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, he is number 20. I'm going to pull this picture up because I want number 20. <laughs> I'm a, he's, he's on page 20. I'm going to pull it. This is one of my favorites of Gordon Parks. So I'm going to show it. And can you see it? Can you see Gordon yep, Parks? There he is. I can, there? I can see him His right reflection. there. Oh, mm -hmm. he's up in here somewhere. Wait a minute. Yep, there he right is. There? Okay. Yep, right Gordon there. Parks. Okay. Yep, you hit it. All right. So um he he's major. He's a, a huge icon. A lot of what's what's he what's he known for? It's there's a movie. He did the movie Shaft. Um, the original he movie Shaft okay. with Rich Roundtree. Yep. Okay. Okay. He has another movie he did in his hometown uh, called The Learning Tree. Um, I remember The Learning he Tree. He did a lot of things. And in my image of reflections, when I took uh, the Polaroid and handed it to him, he said, do you see what I see? And of course I said, yes, I see what you see. And I had no idea what he saw. And he walked out the room and I asked my assistant, I said, do you see what he sees? And he said, this is you, this is all about you. I said, man, this is us, this is Gordon Parks. Uh, Mr. Parks came in and laid a book on the end of a table and on the book is a full image of him. And 16 people were like, there he is right there. I'm like, that is not a mirror. And I always think, he saw this. He, he, he saw this before I even took the picture, placing that book there that people would be like, there he is right there in the book because people are so quick to react to what they see first. They don't take time to engulf the whole photograph. Like this image right here of the Nicholas brothers, the greatest dancers, oh, I, oh, the greatest dancers of all time. Here they are up there. Um, okay. You know, it's all about or an image of Oh, you can't see it because of the light. Oh, there it is. Uh, Who is that? Celia DeVore. She's the first black model. Okay, I the saw that first when I was model. flipping through the book. I, I bought your Ooh. book years ago. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I, 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 oh, about one more thing about Gordon Parks. Do you recall that mm -hmm. picture of Coretta Scott King at MLK's funeral, and she's dressed in white. Girl. She has a veil on, and she's in the church pew, and she has mm -hmm. um, the oldest girl on her lap, and, on her lap. and they're yeah. both kind mm -hmm. of just mourning. That's a Gordon Parks. That everybody yep, kind Parks. of would would clue into that image. That's a Gordon Parks. Yep. I love Gordon Parks' work, but anyway, so um, I have some others. Some of your, some you told me that are your favorite. This is Lois Mayu Jones, and I'm gonna show this. Lois Mayu Jones. Lois Mayu Jones. She was my seventeenth 
photograph. That mean I that's a it looks perfect right there. Uh, so I had photographed 16 icons. My head was so big, mm -hmm. you had to put Vaseline on my ears to get through her front door. And she did not appreciate that at all. Lois oh, May Lou Jones is considered one of the greatest painters of all time. I walked in, handed her my portfolio. She perused through it. Then she announced, I do not like your composition. You know, I did like you would have done. I jumped up and I said, call 911. Oh my God, it's going to be all right. She's like, what's wrong? I said, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And she's like, there's nothing wrong. I said, oh, yes, there is something wrong. You just said you like my composition. And she's like, boy, sit down. So I sat down. We had a talk. Then I asked her, where should I photograph her? And she's like, my studio's upstairs. So I had my assistant. We took everything upstairs, set up the photograph. I took a Polaroid and handed it to her. She pulled a handkerchief from her sleeve and proceeded to start crying. I'm like, oh. Aww. My career is so over. One phone call. One. He did what? He cursed at you? He tried to hit you? You mean he tried to steal one of your paintings? I lean over and I say, what's wrong? And she says, there's my husband and my good friend Picasso. My mouth fell open. I'm like, what did you say? What did you say? She snaps her fingers because she realizes at that point the depth of my photography. This woman wow. comes in now. I've been there for at least 40 minutes. This woman comes from nowhere. She walks into the room. I jump and mm -hmm. rearranges the room. And Lois says, what are you waiting on? I said, I'm waiting on you to apologize. Tell me you didn't like my composition. He says, I advise you to take the picture before I put you out of my house. I said, well, I figured now, this 80 is her years husband. Old, that's her husband. Yep. Yep. And this is Picasso. And and that's Picasso. Friend. And this is uh -huh. her image. And that's her. Right. Am I seeing yep. that correctly? Yep. That's yep. right. In the mirror. Okay. And yep. and you you know what? These this is the artist studio. And it's just um, I want to call it a mess, but it's an organized mess. You know, oh, yeah. it just is so Yeah, she was she, still working. She, There's a painting right on the right. table there. She was she there there were paintings. You could hardly see any wall space in her house. There were paintings, but it went up against each other. She had so much art. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. I should have asked her for a painting. Talking about she didn't like my composition. Young people, you can't take them nowhere. She didn't like your composition. Mm -hmm. In each one of your images, you also have a story about either your experience or about the artist or about the, the icon that you took the picture of. This one, is General Colin Powell. And oh, when yes. I looked at this Sorry. picture, I thought, wait a minute, I don't see him in the picture. These look like his age, <laughs> right? <laughs> so where, where is he? He is in, uh -huh, I got a, bam, he's over here in this image. There he is right his there. His reflection is there. Yep. There he is. <laughs> when he stepped off the elevator, I jumped back. And he says, are you all right? And I said, I'm looking for Secret Service, sir. And he says to me, I don't need Secret Service to take you down. And I assured him there was no need to take me down. And, you know, he laughed at it. And it, it was really cool. Um, like, there's an image, let's see, 27, Jimi Hendrix. You, you, okay. you want variety. You can't have every, I mean, not Jimi Hendrix, Richie Havens. I'm good, Lord Almighty. Richie, um, Richie Havens. Yeah, but yeah, Richie Havens, Richie Havens, Jimi Hendrix is in the photograph with him. Um, well, and you walk into a studio and you see a mirror that's so big. That's 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 a uh, Jimi Hendrix. Yep. You wow. see the mirror? I see it. Yes, it's big. Yeah, and that's the key of reflections having a variety of mirrors to keep people guessing about where the artist is. Yep. Wow, that's yeah. nice. Um, I have one that's one of my favorites because um, it, it said 2012 you were here. Anyway, um, in mm -hmm. 2012, about 10 or so years ago, maybe a little more, you came to Grand Rapids to photograph Paul Collins, Paul Collins. one of our locals. And I'm going to do yes. a screen share because I was, 
I assisted you. Like I carried the equipment, right? Because that's what assistants <laughs> do. They do the labor. So I did the labor. And yep. um, but I also took my camera. And when you guys were taking a breath, I was taking a picture. And I got yep. some pictures. Um, so I'm going to let me see if I can get my screen share up here because I want to show share. I want to show some of the images we got. This is oh. Paul Collins' home. And so oh, um, it's, it's another artist's home and it's beautiful. And you can see all the artifacts. We're not going to spend a lot of oh. time here, but um, you, you can, can see, see all me the right artifacts. there. Look at that. that that's a beautiful picture um, that Paul did. And there's the artist and his reflection. He's actually wow. looking into, and I have in the mirror. I, he's looking into the mirror. Uh oh, and I have a picture wow. of um, the, the finished image in the book that I want to show in just a moment but here's some of his other pictures this is you and that's right. where you were standing um heading toward the the camera image when you took that's his amazing picture. I've never I never seen this before these photographs you've seen these I shared these with you probably was so hyped up for being with Paul oh, Collins yeah I, I, I there's Paul and his the best wife picture. Yeah. And then there's you. You were taking that picture. There's me. And there's you taking a picture in your 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 format. Mm -hmm. And then this is Paul's artist, his, his uh his artist studio and his living room. And ha, ha, shameless plug, there's you and I together. And I was just like, you know, elated to be in, in his home. And there's another picture of his home. And so oh, wow. and then I want to show um what the finished product looks like for paul collins's image mm -hmm. Ta -da! so Ta -da, there it is wow that's interesting there it is right wow. there and so you captured it your entire book is in black and white which makes it really classic um and i really like it you can see everything i mean there's so the the studio is so busy but yet it's so very mm -hmm. organized and you can see all of his work displayed everywhere. It's beautiful. Everything's in focus, 120 feet of detail, everything. Yes, and he also, you, put, you added one of his quotes onto your uh, book jacket. It says, I have been photographed, Paul Collins writes to you, I have been photographed by many photographers, but this is the first time someone has photographed my life. And so, that's my, this is you and your brother, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. That's okay. me and my brother. Okay, so that's uh this is a nice, this is a beautiful coffee table book. Uh yeah, people gotta get work. How do they I think we left the link on okay. our Facebook Live so that if anyone wants the book, they can go to the link. Um what how much is tarphoto.net. Yep, tarphoto.net, sixty-eight dollars. That's okay. including shipping. Yep. Okay. And I believe we we put it there and i wanted to um i just wanted to bust through some of the other names on here to see who mm -hmm. else you got we got robert moses bb king burden algebra vernon jordan bb king eleanor holmes norton holmes. Say, what, what were you about to say did i say bb king bb king when you said bb king he said boy help me up off this sofa I said, let me get my feet together. My back goes on. <laughs> He's the, he was a computer games junkie. He didn't go nowhere without his computer. He loved playing computer games. Really? You figure any man with 17 kids and on the road almost, what, 50, 48 weeks out the year? That's a lot of being wow. on the road. Um, I see Jean-Baptiste Illinois Jacoy. Jacquette. He played with Miles Davis. Okay. 19 years old. Yep. Okay. Kathy Hughes. She's associated Kathy Hughes. with um was it BET or owns Radio One. Radio One, okay. Radio okay. One, yep. Melvin Van Van Peebles. We all know he him. He did a movie, Sweet, Sweet, Sweet Backs, Badass Song. Every every person should see that song. That's Mario's father. Yeah. Yes. Um let me see who else we got. Um, uh, Dorothy Height. We know her. Dr. Dorothy uh, Height. When I when I came to photograph Dr. Height, I'm always, you know, if you're 15 minutes early, that means you're on time. So I get there and the woman says, 
I, something I got to tell you. I'm like, oh, oh, God, though, she died. She's like, calm down, really? I said, that's my greatest fear, darling. I get here too late and the person then died. She's like, no, no, she's just running late. So, you know, my idea of Dr. Height is this statuous woman. You know, she's just incredible. Just walk into a room and just light it up. You know, I, it didn't dawn on me about age. You know, she comes into the room in a wheelchair. I had already set up the light. And it, it, that is another image that people cannot find her in the mirror. And that really? totally blows my mind. And I'm like, she's right there. Just keep looking. Well, I can't find her. Where is she? Well, keep it. The picture's only so big. <laughs> so, right. You right. know. Um, but it's just interesting. You know, people look at the image and get lost in it in the detail. Mm -hmm. And uh, some people might say, you know, my grandmother used to have one of these. Or, oh, I got one of these on my table. How they can identify with people and learn how, you know, we're more alike than different. Right. So we're not going to go over. I just want to, um, I just want to holler and some, um, give some shout outs to Daisy Bates, uh, David Dinkins, Julian Bond, Amiri um, Baraka. Mary Baraka. Say that. Yep. Is that Mary Baraka. Baraka. Yep, he was okay. the poet, poet lord from New Jersey. Okay. Congressman Charles Rango, who I like him so much. Um, mm -hmm. William Raspberry, Frank Foster, um, John Henry Great. Clark. Ooh. That's right, John Henry Clark. These are some major people to African American yes, history. So we can't go on. I guess it's time for us to wrap up. But um, oh, so I, I yep. want to just end it with this quick question. And that is in a perfect world, what would you like to see happen with reflections? I mean, you know, um, you want people to buy me. What's, what's the future? I wanted to be in every library and school in this country. I wanted to be the kickoff for us learning about our history. We are a people without a place to be. Every other race may have a flag or a country. We are just here. Reflections can be our stepping stone in learning about our history. A simple, a, a something as simple as a dime done by a woman named Dr. Selma Burke. She was a sculptress. Mm -hmm. When I photographed her, she lived in a reconverted barn in New Hope, Pennsylvania. She was late for the photo shoot. She gets, you know, a car drives up and the door opens and a pack of cigarettes fall out. I'm like, do you want me to throw those away? And she's like, I just bought those. I'm like, those are not good for your health. She's like, I've been smoking longer than you've been alive. And I'm like, listen, how much longer do you want to live? And, and the whole thing is, in my conversation with these strangers before we meet, is to get them in a confrontation to where they're laughing. They're like, is this kid serious talking to me this way? What is wrong with him? And you know, I am had gotten to her house, of course, early. She's not there. I'm like, where could a woman her age be at 8.30 in the morning? <laughs> and, you know, I asked her. I went to go get my driver's license removed. I'm like, you missing half a foot and fingers. Did they make you take a driving test? All I done done for this state. I'm like, oh, you didn't done? You run over some folks and you'll see what you done done for this state. They say, help. Be quiet, but help me up out this car. And that whole, you know, it was just from from the first moment to the end. It's like, oh my God, I gotta leave. Wow. You know, let me take the napkin and wipe my face off because I didn't definitely ate something. You gotta feed me. I'm a starving artist. <laughs> and you know, their whole thing is like, you worse than my grandkids. I swear, let me get you out of my house. So you eat me out of house at home. They just and, like us, huh? Yeah, and you know, to show them a photograph of, of them and ask them, where are you in the image? And they look at the photograph and they say, I don't see myself. And then I say, the image represents who you are. Everything there, you put there. Reflections mm -hmm. reflects you. 
oh, you you going deep. I'm like, well, you wouldn't have let me in there to photograph you leaning up against a desk. You don't even know me. And it's the whole thing where, like, um, when Lois May Lou Jones was crying, that's one of the best days of my life. We're one of the greatest. She learned something and she cried. That doesn't happen every day. So, yes. And if anybody wants a book, they can always contact me, reese.terrence at gmail.com. I'm on Facebook, Terrence Reese. And your link should be posted with this live, hopefully, and went through. And, and, this, sure. and, this, and my link should be posted with this live somewhere. And everyone have a wonderful evening. And thank you very much, young lady, thank for having me on. Thank you for your time, Terrence. No problem. All you right. All, all right, everyone. You listen to Passion Speak, where we give those with a passion a platform to speak. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you, babe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs>